in our model, and I'm going to be talking about why should Puerto Rico become the 50, 51st state in the United States. Sometimes I'm having conversations with people, kind of notice an accent or whatnot, and they'll ask me where I'm from. So I tell them, and this is what I'm saying. That is true. Um, sometimes I'm talking to them, I get asked very interesting questions like, do you guys have to eat? What type of currency do you have? When you go back home, would you give me some of your currency? I'm like, I probably have some here in my pocket right now. What type of clothes do you wear? Do you guys celebrate Christmas? So I tell them, I try to keep a straight face, tell them, yes, we dress normally. We celebrate Christmas. I have a TV. I've had a TV for the past 27 years. So I'm going to be talking about our Commonwealth status right now in the island. What are some of the advantages, history, endeavors? Basically, the advantages that Puerto Rico will have by becoming a state. There are numer numerous factors that are hurting the island right now, like the Commonwealth. We are not a state, but we are American citizens. We cannot vote in the presidential election. We don't have a voice in the Congress right now. And we do use the American dollar. Our current unemployment rate is 15%. That's pretty high. Our average hourly wage is below that one in the U.S. with $8.08. Minimum wage, <coughs> $3.61. Up to five fifteen at most. The population below poverty level is forty one point one. You can say fifty nine point one is the only remaining that could be considered poor. So forty one point one are not really poor. So out of the fifty states in the United States, Mississippi is the poorest. But guess what? Puerto Rico is even poor. <coughs> Some of the best educated people leave the island for better opportunities, better quality, quality of life. So that leaves us some educated people and some that are not so educated. Recently our economy has received budget cuts. We have very few natural resources and our economy depends highly on federal aid from the United States. So I'm going to tell you, probably you guys might not care much because you're not Puerto Rican or whatnot, but I'm going to tell you why I care so much and why I'm so proud. 1917, by the Jones Act, we got granted citizenship. Two months after that, 20,000 Puerto Ricans got drafted for the military, from New York and from Puerto Rico. Now, we were not really allowed to fight with our white counterparts, so we fought along with the French, wearing French uniforms in the Western uh, French, uh, how do you call it, front. We did so well that we, by the Germans, we used to call, them the Har call us the Harlem Hellfighters. We got two of them, so Rafael Hernandez Marín and his brother Jesus Marín. We cannot forget the 55th Infantry Division. Her Marines, we fought World War I and World War II. You can see some of the channel and um, Air Force News, they play the movie. We made our mark in the Korean War, claiming victory, and it's a, an uh, award-winning movie, actually. We have been fighting since the war, war of independence with England. They went to the states, 3,000 Puerto Rico, 3,000 Puerto Ricans left under the command of General Fernando Garbaez. We helped, we took over the Gulf of Mexico, Mobile, Alabama, and Pensacola, where most of the establishment, English establishment, establishments were. So now you understand a little bit about the history and how we've been fighting side by side since the war of independence. If we do become a state, which we will, Puerto Rico can receive taxes from the citizens, and this can help the infrastructure of the island. We can have open, tra open trade with the nat nations that are allies to the U.S. By becoming a state, we can benefit from the high income and lower unemployment rate. Puerto Rico will start seeing improvements in its economy. We will at least have a voice in the Congress. 
we will be on the same political footing as the other 50 states instead of having no electoral presidential, no vote in the presidential elections. Terrorism will increase. Right now, currently employing 60,000 people. <coughs> Go over what I said. Going over our political status and economic status, briefly discussing about some of our past relations, struggles, and history fighting alongside the United States. Looking at the benefits that becoming a state can have, seeing some opportunities that the people in the United States get to succeed in life, accomplishing goals. I know that Puerto Rico can partake in some of the benefits and responsibilities of becoming. Thank you very much.